Wolfgang Pauli was a Swiss theoretical physicist and is considered one of the original defining voices in the field of quantum physics. He's credited with some of the most important theories that still shape our modern understanding of quantum mechanics. Some of his more notable theories are the principle of spin in subatomic particles. I'm not going to explain these to you, but they're really, really fascinating and they're really important. The probable existence of neutrinos and the principle of exclusion or the Pauli principle. It's an essential key to the discovery of new quantum particles like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, which was discovered in 2013. Pauli's accumulated contributions to science were considered so significant that Albert Einstein personally nominated Pauli for the Nobel Prize in 1945, which he was awarded that year. Pauli's quantum principles have helped validate Einstein's relativity model of space, time, and gravity. For example, much of our current understanding of the structure and behavior of black holes and wormholes is driven by a basic synthesis of Einstein's and Pauli's theories. More to our point, the idea of synchronicity was also a synthesis of Carl Jung's theories of the unconscious and Wolfgang Pauli's theories of the quantum universe. This story of synthesis is really fascinating. In 1930, Pauli experienced a severe emotional breakdown following his mother's tragic suicide and a sudden painful divorce. In desperation, he sought out Carl Jung and began a four-year clinical exploration of the complex struggle with his emotional, scientific, and psychic identities. Through the course of this clinical relationship, Jung recorded and analyzed 1,300 of Pauli's dreams many of which contained mythic images and themes that resonated with Jung's own experiences during his powerful Red Book period. Albert Einstein had inspired Carl Jung to see the possibilities of a harmony, if not a unity, between physics and psychology. Jung's relationship with Wolfgang Pauli soon evolved into a similar scientific exchange, but this time involving quantum physics. Through the analysis of Pauli's dream experiences, parallels emerged between Jung's theories of universal archetypes operating in the collective unconscious and Pauli's theories of subatomic particles operating in the quantum realm. Pauli could not reject Jung's theories about these unseen, unverified psychological phenomena any more than he could abandon his own theories about the unseen, unverified phenomena of quantum physics. Pauli was convinced that quantum mechanics provided the most plausible scientific explanation for Jung's concept of the collective unconscious. In turn, the collective unconscious provided the most plausible psychological explanation for Pauli's powerful dream experiences. The collective unconscious also provided a rationale for Pauli's unorthodox view of the origins of scientific discovery. Pauli believed that many important scientific advancements were not always born of a logical process or empirical evidence but instead were often subjective, intuitive, inspired, and visionary, and way ahead of the evidence. And finally, through this remarkable, remarkable parallel vision of psychology and physics, Carl Jung was convinced that Pauli's quantum theories of subatomic particles had finally provided his Mickey missing mechanism of synchronicity.